What's up everybody? I'm going to make some sourdough today. Well, the dough for the sourdough. I'm going to bake the actual sourdough and get the bread tomorrow. But I'm going to build the levain right now. Um, you need wheat flour, bread flour, water, and some sourdough starter. And that's it. And you know, four to six hours of time. So, I've got everything mostly measured out here already. Uh, this is 57 grams of... Which one is that? Bread flour. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting things. And this is going to be 57 grams of my wheat flour. Um, this is my sourdough. That, or this is a starter, I'm sorry, that I fed last night. This is my awesome kitchen scale because I don't actually have a real kitchen scale yet. Uh, shout out to John if you recognize this thing, man. Anyhow, so I'm going to tear it out and it's asking for 114 grams of starter. It's about four ounces, give or take a little bit. Ah. Okay, cool. So I went a little bit over, but that's okay because the amount that I went over is in all likelihood going to stick to the inside of this sum. Anyhow, so 114 grams, right? Give or take maybe a gram in this instance. Also, putting in 114 grams of water. And I'm just going to mix this up. You know, mix it so it you know, blends really well. You don't see any lumps. Nothing special here. This is just a jar spatula. I like to use these because uh, I use mason jars and it makes it easy to scrape the sides. Alright. But ultimately, this is all we're going to do here. We're going to mix it up. You know. Smells great, by the way. And if you guys drink whiskey out there like I do, you'll start smelling sourdough starter in your whiskey. It's fantastic. Hence, sour mash. Certain Kentucky bourbons, I believe Jack Daniels is a sour mash. Michter's has a sour mash. But anyhow, that's, that's good mix. I'm going to transfer it all over into this glass bowl here. And the reason why I like to use glass is so I can see it rise. Because ultimately I want this to double in size. And it can go further. It can triple, maybe even quadruple, depending on how long you let it sit and do its thing. Um, and how active the starter culture is in it. Um, but this is it, right? Uh, I'm going to wrap this in plastic wrap. I'm going to keep this in my boiler room because in there it's about 74 to 78 on average. And just the warmer temp, the faster activation you'll get in the starter culture. And it'll just, you'll get a quicker rise so I can start building everything else. So next steps will be um, the auto lease where you mix the rest of the flour for the dough recipe and water and you let that sit for about an hour and then we're going to mix the levain and that dough that's auto leasing together um, and then there's a series of other things afterwards uh, i'm going to cover it all 